meet again. Yes, we did. I'm Mitchell Farrell. This is Fab TV. How are you guys? Hey good, thanks. How are you? Good, good. First of all, I want to say um, I just went to the museum again, and it just looks so good. Everything is, all the little things that, like, how'd you get all this stuff? Oh, that's a great question. You know, I have to tell you, the elves are working hard every night. <laughs> every time I'm here, I notice something different, too. You know, I so appreciate that. That's sort of like when we first got started and we're looking for the right building to have the Hollywood Museum. Every time I came to the Max Factor building here, I saw something different, something new, another room, another corridor. I just noticed these drawers. You know, those are the very famous doors where Max Vector kept his product, and he had trained his sales associates uh, to act like there was only one or two pieces of makeup left, and they would go to the drawer and circuitously open a drawer and pick up one piece and say, this is the last one, even if there was 20 of them in the back of the drawer. Uh, but uh, yes, these are very famous drawers. And um, hold on, I'm going to gather my thought here because I was so listening to what you're saying. Um, it is so nice of you, too, to hold the, like the Servino event and then, and then the Judy event here. So it's, it's so cool of you to do that as well. Well, thank you so much. You know, uh, Hollywood is based on so much, and we showcase, you know, more than 100 years of Hollywood history here at the museum. And the importance of Hollywood isn't just today, it's from the past. And it goes through today, through the future. And whether it's Paul Sorvino, and now our dear Judy Tenuta, uh, they had illustrious pasts. We love them today, and we pray, we pray that the future will remember them as we do. Before I get to you, what is your best memory of Judy? Well, you know. I don't. Uh, well, should it be a public memory or a private memory? I think a private one. So it has to be in Judy's walk-in closet. Ooh. <laughs> and we ate pie in the walk-in closet. Wow. Okay. Do you have a special Judy moment? When I first met her. Uh, it was at an event here at the museum, the annual Real to Real LGBT of, uh, exhibit, pre-pandemic. We do in partnership with you. We do, yes. I help sponsor this. It's, it's a really wonderful exhibit, and I met Judy at one of those pre-pandemic, and we were pals from that moment on. She kept me laughing all the time, and the more she makes someone laugh, the more she keeps going to keep making you laugh. So I, I've always enjoyed her humor long before I ever met her, and that joy will keep giving long after her passing and her spirit is very much with us and she's probably on this uh, this red carpet now as we speak uh, laughing uh, with all of us at this moment that's that's Judy Tanuta. Well maybe she's behind the glass wearing the last outfit that she wore right there right? It's a fabulous outfit and you know uh, her closet was filled with phenomenal outfits, but this was the last costume she wore in a public appearance, and we're so thrilled to be able to have that with us. Is that going to live here? Uh, it may. We have several other costumes, too, and her, her toy accordions are quite extraordinary. They're all hand-painted and personalized, and uh, we're excited to have several of them. I saw that she had a little note written on top. Did you see that? Well... Great talking to you both, and you're an amazing lady for doing the things that you do here and keeping it up. And um, the only thing I want to say is I think it's got to get the word out to these millennials to look back at the way Hollywood was and how cool it is in here. There's so much awesome memorabilia here that it, 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 it takes like three trips to even ingest it. Well, thank you for saying that. I think that. I do too. This, this building was saved by this great lady right here. This building wouldn't be standing. The Max Factor building, which is now the Hollywood Museum, she saved it over 20 years ago now. It is the receptacle for the best of Hollywood history. And more and more people are going to learn that in the coming years, and there's nothing else like it. No doubt. You guys are both fabulous. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.